Hello and welcome to Full of Food. If you're fed up of the same lunch every day, bake these mini quiche. Packed full of cheese and fresh chives, they're perfect served warm or cold from the fridge. We've used the Ninja Jewel air fryer, but you can use any air fryer or even your oven. A full list of ingredients is in the description. Please like and subscribe for more videos. So on to the ingredients. I've got some fresh eggs here. I've got some grated cheddar, some chives, some lovely bacon bits, they're going to go on the top. Then I've got some cream here, double cream. I've got some pastry, some little tartlet tins. You can get these on Amazon. And then I've got myself some black pepper, some lovely sea salt, and a little bit of fry light just to line my pans. So on to the method. So I've got ready roll pastry here. I absolutely love this stuff. I love making pastry, but it just takes too long. So here we go. Just grab your little tartlet case and just cut your pastry into squares big enough to line those cases. And then I like to give a big spray into the tartlet case with fry light to stop it sticking. And then all you're going to do is pop your pastry inside. You just need to be careful here that you don't break holes in it. So just gently ease it in. Then I like to use the back of my finger just on my knuckle there to just push it into the corners, make a nice shaped tart. So once that's in, little trick for you, flip it over, push down like a cookie cutter and then just take it off the sides. Makes it nice and smart, nice and neat, no trimming needed. So what we're going to do is we're going to make three little mini quiches here. So there we go, there's our three. You can see one of them had a little break, but I just patched it up with some of the pastry. So I want to blind bake, so grab another tin and spray fry light on the bottom. So you could use beans if you've got them here, or you could put a bit of foil or baking parchment with some rice in. But we need to blind bake these cases a little bit, just so that they aren't soggy on the bottom when you add your egg mixture. So pop those into the air fryer. And then if you've got a bake function, use it. If not, use air fry. And you want to do that for about 10 minutes. And like I said, we're just trying to get the bottom uh, blind baked. Whilst that's baking, get your eggs. I'm using three eggs here. And we're going to add that lovely double cream, which makes our quiche really rich. Just a splash of that. Lovely bit of salt, crack of black pepper, and then give that a whisk together. So all we're doing really here is making a really opulent sort of scrambled egg mixture, if you like. Then chop in some fresh chives. I like to put quite a lot of chives in here because I love the taste of it. And also it makes those tartlets look really pretty. There you go. Look, you can see all the little bits of chives floating around. So once your tartlets are blind baked, you want to take them out. And if you have a little look here, you'll see that they've gone nice and golden around the edge. So take those lids off and then bake or air fry them just for another minute, just to make sure that the bottoms are done. So there they are lovely and golden around the edge and they're cooked slightly on the bottom. So we want to leave them in the air fryer and add your cheese. You could add any cheese here. I've just opted for a normal cheddar. And then I've got my egg chive mixture and we're going to pour that in until it almost reaches the top. Don't overfill this. You don't want it sort of bubbling over, but you want it to almost reach the top. It's going to puff up a tiny bit. Make sure you keep them flat. Pop them back into your air fryer and then bake again until the egg's cooked. So that's about eight to 10 minutes. Obviously, if you're not using the bake function, you can air fry it, just keep an eye that it doesn't burn. So once they're done, we take them out. Look at those beautiful cheesy chives in that quiche. And then we're just going to let them cool for a little bit. And then they should come out of these little tartlet cases really easily. And that's because we use that method of getting the excess pastry off. So there we go, look, out they come. You can see the bottom's nice and cooked there. Haven't got a soggy bottom on that one. So once they're done, I like to sprinkle them with bacon bits. These ones I just bought from my supermarket. You could cook your own bacon and you could chop it up and then put a couple of fresh chives on the top. And there you have it, a lovely cheesy onion, chivey onion, bacon bit topped quiche. Serve it with a little bit of side salad and it makes sure that your lunch is less boring. <music>